Hi, I'm Daryl Cuba, and we're at the Point of Destination Cafe. Welcome to Real Black TV. The first, Philadelphia filmmaker Robert X. Golfin chats with legendary author and actress Ruby Dee. Hey, I'm Robert X. Golfin, and this is Real Black TV. And with me today is a legend, not only in the entertainment field, but also in the field of social activism and philanthropy. Ruby D, actor and wife of the late, great Ozzie Davis. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, I'm happy to be here. I'm honored. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me, I just want to get right into this, about the role of the griot storyteller and what type of opportunities are in film? as it relates to that. Oh my, the role of the griot, uh, that's, uh, the griot is the storyteller uh, from Africa, you know. I, I'm thinking of a, of a famous ending that I read in the African folk tales. This my story, if it be sweet or if it not be sweet, take some elsewhere and let some come back to me. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, but the, the, the griot is the storyteller, is the historian, is the um, record keeper of, for the community, you know, he's like the city hall, and with this phenomenal memory, that was the griot. And, um, and I, th I think it's still a necessary uh, part of art, uh, the, 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 the griot, the, the people who remember, because if you don't remember, um, you don't exist. <laughs> it's something like that. The uh, state of entertainment is changing day by day, mm -hmm. whether that's for the good or the, or the bad, uh, depends on interpretation. But are we as filmmakers, I myself being one of them, realizing our full potential? Well, uh, one thing I like about the filmmaker is the opportunity to, to affect the tenor of the times. I think about, for this is in a negative, but the film, Birth of a Nation, affected the thinking of a, for a long time in this country. Those, that, that awful portrait of, of African Americans in, in that film uh, permeated all, so many of our actions in this country, so many of the actions of, of white people in this country toward blacks and sort of, and kind of sanctioned fear and cruelty and injustice. Uh, so, the, oh yes, indeed, the filmmaker has a, has a tremendous uh, job to play. And also, I think um, uh, the filmmaker has to really know so much. I think of the filmmaker as a very well-educated person. You know philosophy and history and, and storytelling and, and writing and, and politics and art. I think uh, Spike Lee is a seminal thinker. He, he comes at subjects in a unique way. He's a... He, sets tones and rhythms for his films that, um, that we have to sit up and pay attention to. Many people that have been in Spike's movies have gone on to do other things because they've made a, a unique impression on screen with the work they've done with him. And you think he's so soft and he's gentle, but he's very firm to about what he wants. I remember he kept writing. I remember when I was writing him a letter about something in a script, <laughs> and um, and thinking that I had a very good point. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> he didn't answer me, <laughs> but that's because he wasn't going to change it. Ossie was different. My husband, he 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 he. he um, but but that was a very very uh, a good relationship they had. I don't know what the next thing is going to be. Film is changing so fast uh, uh, in terms of uh, it's, it's changing so that probably everybody's going to have a movie screen. It's like now with the telephone. You do, I used to have to go down to the candy store where I lived as a kid to, to answer the phone. We'd get a phone call and the elevator man would have to come up and get us. Uh, now everybody has, has, his, has, has his or her own phone, and we carry, even our children, and we carry it around in our pockets. So what comes through that, um, that screen, this teeny one or the large one, I think is going to f affect the human race for a long time, because it's really not in a vacuum, and uh, solutions are in our heads, and that's what part of what film does. I think it lays out some solutions. Is there anything else you'd like to add for our uh, real black viewers at home? Yes, oh, well, I must tell you that, um, and also this has been a very busy year and a half for me. I have a book out called uh, that my husband, of uh, writings that my husband did before he 
he's passed, and we've called it Life Lit by Some Large Vision, based on a quote from Du Bois, because he was always saying that. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a formidable book. It's been well received. And we have also our autobiography with Arsene Ruby uh, that was published uh, several years ago is now has now won a, an, a Grammy uh, uh, for, for the audio version of it we managed just a little before he left uh, to put that down wow. to, to read it together and it's and I'm been it's so encouraged by the reception to that you know so so we've been really busy the legendary Ruby D on Real Black TV. I'm Ruby D, and you're watching Real Black TV.